Just coming to check on stuff, see what's going well, he's on. He's still knocked loopy from Sterling, it looks like. He's complaining about his eye. He just wants referee to make ben sure the McAfee. referee is doing his job. Yeah, but he's, he's not distracted. involved in this match. There's that low blow. There's Mark Sterling, though. Wait. Oh, wait a minute. He, <laughs> yes, I love it. He had a nut cup this month. That was genius. What a move. Oh, he knocked no, him out. No, referee. Look. Floors him with hey, the nut cup. Hey, you better tell cup. Zach Thompson to leave. Tony Sly knocked out cold. What a smart, savvy move on the part of SBC. Oh, no, wait, oh, Tony wow. Sly reverses. I can't believe it. Oh, long Come kiss. on, Here Tony. Come on. Long oh, kiss. There it Crushed him. That's going to do Sterling it. Sterling cheering from the outside. And wow. SBC successfully defends the peer wrestling title. It's wow. been fun, but just got a lot less fun, guys. See you later. What a smart tactic There's to win that Longtime friend and partner of Sir Bradley Charles coming to the A. And that is what we're talking about. We need this type of teamwork between the three XW athletes against these Genesis, Genesis thugs. Yeah, it's good to see Genesis go down. Anytime that a young star beats a Genesis member, great performance by be proud. Sir Bradley Charles. Sterling leading the cheers. 
Two big fan favorites here, three XW. Wait a minute here. Oh, wait a minute. Spear by Sterling on Sir Bradley Char What is this, Aaron? Um, I did not see that coming at all. Mark Sterling victorious earlier tonight over his longtime rival, Zach Thompson. But now he's just floored his good friend, Sir Bradley Charles. I don't understand this at all. Look at the look in the eyes of Mark Sterling. Such intensity. He... Oh, wait a minute. This, oh no. Oh no. Oh! Well, he kind of reminds me of, him the, again. of the Sterling of old. We've seen this Sterling before, and it's never good for anyone in 3X wrestling. And McAfee, the referee, getting in the ring. He might want to clear out of the way here. Look at the look on Sterling's face. He's calling for the microphone. Look at that. He's got his eyes on, on SBC. Ben McAfee clearing the way. I can't blame him right now. Took you five hours to text me back and you say, 
Friday, October 28th, join 3X Wrestling at the Forte Center in All Play for Halloween Horror 5. Your favorite 3XW superstars will be in action as we present a battle royale where the winner gets a shot at the 3XW Heavyweight Championship. Come dressed up for a shot at a prize in our costume contest. It's fun for the whole family. Advance tickets are available at All Play, JCD, and Hobby and Cup of Kryptonite. Doors open at 7. The action starts at 7.30. We'll see you at All Play. And here at this point, the backslide match will be doing moves like this. No, floats it into a oh double underhook face buster. Look at that! He's, He's going, going into the cross, the cross face. face. He's got is. to apply center of the ring. Center of the ring. We saw Sailor get out of this before, but that was after only 15 minutes He's of got action. Nowhere to go. We've been near 25 minutes of action. So much damage to both men. Let him wrench that. Sailor trying to make us. He taps. Wow. Sailor taps out. Wyatt is still oh champion. My goodness. What a battle. Jeremy Wyatt, absolutely tremendous heavyweight title match. 25 minutes of technical mastery. You look exhausted. What are your thoughts on the bout? Well, like I said last month. Ben Saylor is probably one of the most underrated wrestlers in the entire Midwest. But I also said last month, if I had more than 15 minutes, I was gonna make him tap. We all saw the end result. Now, coming up next month, uh, rumors are abound that we could be going back to the annual October tradition, a battle royal to start the show, where the winner of that bout faces you later in the night for a heavyweight title. Uh, match. Uh, you've been in that situation once before. We saw Rory Fox and you develop a very, very good rivalry based on that. Uh, any concerns going into that type of situation, not knowing your opponent until you get to the building? No, none whatsoever. I feel like I'm the best wrestler here. I mean, do I get time to prepare? No, but if I'm as good as I think I am, it's not really going to matter. And maybe... Oh, maybe just maybe I'll come out and introduce myself to him right after the match like I did a couple years ago with Rory Fox. Midnight got through here with the victorious, sexier and smoother AJ Smooth and Ryan Slade. Right. Major victory tonight over two-time former tag team champions, delicious Devin Carter and Casanova of Genesis. And I understand you guys have asked me to come here today uh, to offer a challenge. Is this correct? That is correct. See, those two-time former champions are two-time losers. And sexier and smoother, we're undefeated. Tell them about it. That's right. We were undefeated as sexy and smooth, and then we broke up. Now, sexy and smoother, we're undefeated. And this time, we're going to win the titles. That's right. So, so am I to understand, are you guys challenging American Ground and Air for a tag team title match at Halloween Horror 5? Uh, do they have the titles? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, then yes. Yes, that's exactly what we're doing. We're certainly not going to challenge the guys we just beat. They don't yeah. have belts. Yeah, obviously, because they would have lost them to us. And, and just like Casanova and Carter, American Ground and Air are members of Genesis, your former stable. If anyone knows them as well as anybody, it'd be you. Oh, yeah. Ben Saylor, he kicks hard, and yes. they both fly. Yes, he does. Well, the challenge has been made. We'll have to catch up with Ben Saylor uh, for the tag team titles at Halloween Horror 5. We have Sexier and Smoother hopefully taking on American Ground and Air. The title will look good right there. Hey, Nate. No, man. No, no. Yeah, I tell you what, man. Something burns inside that Jeremy Wyatt that we can't extinguish. He's a heck of a wrestler. It just didn't go as planned. Yeah, I know. I know. Hey, hey, don't worry, man. Next month, it's going to be back to business as usual. Me and you showing 3XW who the best tag team 
in America is, and that's me and you. And get this, man, we're going up against none other than that little turncoat, AJ Smooth and Ryan Slade. Yeah, sexy and smooth. They're going to be the first ones on our hit list, number one with a bullet, when we come back and show 3XW what we're all about, and that's tag team greatness. Yeah, that's right, man. Hey, I'll see you next month, all right? Hey, get that camera out of my face. Spread the word. We got it, they don't. Only Godfather's Peach is the home of the taco pie. I start with my special taco sauce, then pile on the beef, onions, lettuce, tomatoes, and a generous amount of cheese. Get my famous medium taco pie and my new hot or not taco feast, along with the medium one topping pizza and your choice of jalapeno or original cheese sticks, all for just $22.99. No wonder it's everyone's favorite. Godfather's Pizza, do it. This move, splash into a fall away slam. That was a wow. huge fall away slam. Kwong's gonna be walking a straight line to Squiggly Town after this bout, I tell That's you what. That's for sure. What's John, John West. Look at John West. Preparing to go up top. Chad Milan. Milan up top. Wait, what is? What's Domino Rivera doing here? He's got a pair of handcuffs. John West missed some moonsault. Domino right. Rivera is handcuffed. Mandel McDowell on the top rope. Milan's in the ring. Skyler Pierce is furious. John West gets thrown clear oh over the top. Goodness. What a fall. He hit the front row. McDowell is handcuffed to the top rope. Rivera's getting in the ring. To check on John West here, but uh, don't Now look this can't you. beat. Milan said on the outside of the ring there was going to be a new member possibly joining the MMA tonight. Is this that new member? Well, now Skyler Pierce is getting in the ring. Travis Peterson, the bell has been called. Wow. No contest oh has been goodness. called. Personally, I think it's a DQ on the MMA. But this is bad. John West has got floor on the post. Meta McDowell is handcuffed to the ropes, kicked by Kwong. And, Kwong and all three men are beating on Skyler Pierce, who's not a trained competitor. Right. Terrible. He is not a professionally Travis trained wrestler. Peterson Held off by Milan right now. Domino Rivera, I should point out, down in Metro Pro Wrestling, a longtime rival of Maddo McDowell's. And Chad Milan must have known that. Contacted Rivera to come up here to 3XW and possibly is he he's gotta be a member of the MMA now. He's stirring the pot, that's the way it looks. A bounty hunter. Oh, wait a minute here. Skylar Pierce is down on the canvas. Ricky Quag's on the top rope. Elbow drop Number on Skyler Pierce. Drop. Wow. That is just not even fair. Oh, come on. No way. The Mauler's got the American flag. The Mauler is covering Skyler Pierce with the American flag. How disgraceful. This is disgusting. Someone's got to get him some help. This is sickening. It's That's a friend of mine, for Christ's sakes. Chad Milan is the most worthless American I have ever seen in my life. Oh, he's not even an American anymore. McDowell still handcuffed. I hope to God we have the keys somewhere. Don't let the MMA out of the building without the keys. You know, that's something they would Travis do. Travis Peterson looks in shock right now. Oh, wait a minute. The Mauler taunting Mad Dog McDowell. Playing a huge violin. John West is just a mess on the outside well, of the he ring. Could be concussed. He took a very bad spill into the ring post. Now Rivera kicking at McDowell. What a disgusting situation. And once again, we don't make any inroads. We don't get any further with this feud. As the MMA has pulled another one on the American Bulldogs. How disgusting is that?
last month right here at All Play, you saw the worst thing that could ever happen to the American Bulldogs. We finally found out that the Milan Management Agency did have a third member, and that member is Domino Rivera. We found out in the worst way possible. He snuck in and handcuffed the Mad Dog. They beat up and threw the American Fury, John West, over the top, and then they got a hold of me, threw me in the ring, and beat me down. But that's not the worst thing of all. The worst thing at all is they took the American flag, placed it on top of me, and proclaiming that America is dead. <sighs> Mad Dog? You know what, Skylar? I'm getting sick and tired of Mayans International rejects. You got a, you got a homeless bodyguard of Wherever. Gaddafi or whatever. You got a, a, a reject Yakuza. You've got a border jumping cartel. You know, I don't think we need to start playing by the rules anymore. You know, America didn't sit by and let the English shoot at them when they were trying to get their independence. I think we need to put a little fire with fire. What do you think? You know what, Mad Dog, I agree with that, but you have to have to keep yourself grounded. We can't stoop to their level because once we go down that path, there's no coming back. We have to stay, we keep, continue our plan and do what Americans do when we have to fight back, play by the rules. He does have a point, and you have a point also. But we're going to prove something. I'm putting out a challenge to you, Milan Management Agency. Six-man tag. Milan, you bring the Mauler, Kwong, Rivera. I'll bring the Mad Dog, the American Fury, John West. And we need one more man. And the only person I can think of that can tag up with these two guys is this man right here, Skylar Pierce. And we're going to take care of business, and we're going to take care of you for once and for all. You know, what is it that keeps the average American awake at night? That's the question right now that's on my mind. You see, the other day I saw a very interesting news piece. It's a scientific study done by a very prominent and very respected news organization, Al Jazeera Network. And this study proclaimed that one out of every three Americans suffers from some form of insomnia. Now, to me, that kind of information is jaw-dropping. It's, quite frankly, staggering. What is it that keeps the average American scumbag awake late at night? I mean, is it money problems? I've never even heard of such a thing. You see, the Milo Management Agency burns through $100 bills like Bob Marley burned through medicinal smoking material. Maybe it's family problems, huh? Maybe that fat hedgehog of a wife of yours is seeing somebody else. Could it be that your ugly idiot children are doing poorly in school and getting picked on by the other kids? That's no concern of mine. I know what it is. I mean, it is that time of month. Is it perhaps that some of you out there actually have a fear of monsters? I know that the idea seems ridiculous, right? Because Hollywood has glorified monsters for decades now. Well, I for one know that monsters do truly exist, but they're not the kind of monsters that hide in your closet or hide underneath your bed. No, I know that monsters truly exist. How do I know something like that? That's because I have three of them now on my payroll. Let's go ahead and talk about him, huh? We got the Laotian sensation, Ricky Kwong, a former 3XW pure wrestling champion, definite future Hall of Fame material, and a main event superstar in his own right. I have the Mauler, a man born in Libya, brought to America, and trained by Vern Gagne himself, and now I have Domino Rivera. Domino Rivera, a man so violent, his arrest record so long, if we were to print it out onto sheets of paper, it would wrap around the circumference of this underground bunker three, possibly four times. These are the kind of guys who have the morality of a rabid dog and the loyalty that a convict has with his lawyer while he's sitting on death row with one appeal left before he heads off to the gas chamber. Probably why I like the guys so much in the first place. And after the events of the last month, where we handcuffed Mad Dog McDowell to the top rope and forced him to watch his own tag team partner beaten senseless in front of him, and to top it all off, they dragged that fat piece of crap manager of theirs, Skylar Pierce, into the ring, beat him senseless, and then we covered him with his own American flag. Brought me a whole lot of joy. And to be honest with you, that night I slept like a king. I don't know where all this insomnia nonsense is coming from. And I've heard the speculation, I've heard the news traveling all around 3XW because I'm very, very, very much up to date on the current news situation where the American Bulldogs have challenged the Milan Management Agency 
once again to a match, but not an ordinary tag team match, mind you. No, it's a six-man tag team match. Quag, the Mahler, and Valno Rivera against the American Bulldogs. And get this, Skylar Pierce. In a fit of stupidity, Skylar Pierce has named himself as a third member of his tag team. Newsflash, Skylar Pierce, not a wrestler. Skylar Pierce, not trained to be a wrestler. He's walking directly into the line of fire. And they say, well, how does that saying go? You mess with a bull and you get the horns. Not only have you messed with the bull, you've messed with the bull's family and his friends. The American Bulldogs on October 28th at Halloween Horror 5 might as well just walk into all play in beautiful downtown Des Moines, apparently, with their arms wide open in anticipation for the violent stampede that is the Milan Management Agency. They will find out, as along with all the other people out there in the crowd, all of the staff members, and every single person in the city of Des Moines will find out what it is that keeps a man awake at night, and that is the fear of the Milan Management Agency. And everyone will now understand that monsters in this reality that we live in do in fact exist. They are very, very real, and they work for the Milan Management Agency.